welcome back to another session of yoga with myself, Denise. To get started, we're going to lie back and down onto our mats in Subang. Lift the right leg off the floor a couple of inches, extend the heel, and place it back on the mat. Lift the left heel off the floor, extend into the heel, and place it back on the mat. Inhale the arms up and overhead. And exhale into the belly, the thighs, the calves, and extend it into the toes. Inhale the belly, the ribs, the arms, and lengthen it into the fingertips. Exhale belly, thighs, calves, Stretch into the toes and inhale that belly, ribs, arms, reach into the fingertips. Bring the hands back by the sides and allow the breath to return to its natural ebb and flow. We're going to begin today with a happy baby. So take the soles of the feet into the hands or you can place the fingers around the big toes. And there's freedom within this pose, so feel free to rock from side to side, roll back and forward, just whatever feels good to you. Feel the stretch through the inner groin and spine. And smile inwardly. Happy baby's not a serious pose. Calms the mind, refreshes the body, it brings the heart rate down, and it releases tension from the lower back. Hug the knees into the chest. We're going to take a spinal roll to come back up to seated. Extend the legs out in front, and this time we're going to rock the baby. So take the left foot and place it into the, the elbow. And rock the calf like a little baby. You're mobilizing the hip joint. And if your foot is down here, it's fine. You'll still feel the benefits. And place the left leg down. We're going to bring the right foot into the, the left elbow. And rock the baby with the right leg. Try to maintain a bit of length through the spine. This side could feel completely different. I know it's a lot stiffer on me. And release the foot down to the ground. We're going to come onto tabletop, so get there whatever way you want to. I like to cross the legs and roll over the knees. Bring the knees so that they're hip width apart. The hands are shoulder width apart. Check the elbows and make sure they're pointing in towards each other. Tuck the toes under. We're going to come into Adam Mukesh, Vanasana, or dog head down. So pushing the pelvis towards the ceiling on an exhalation. You can keep the legs bent or you can take the heels towards the floor. You're opening up the, the upper back. Make sure that the heels are pointing slightly outwards. You shouldn't be able to see your heels. And let's take one step in, two steps in, and three steps. And before we come back to standing, make sure the toes are touching one another and the heels are slightly apart. Lift the toes up off the floor and place them back down again. Just making sure that the weight's evenly distributed throughout all four corners of the feet. Before we exhale. And then inhale to curl up through the spine, vertebra by vertebra. Head's the last to rise. Activate the legs by drawing up through the quadriceps. Roll the shoulders back and extend into the fingertips. Or Tadasana. 
Notice how you feel. Connect to the breath. The pelvis should be neutral. And the shoulders should be away from the ears. Now take the feet so that they're more than hip width apart. Bring the arms up into a V. And we're going to take some sumo squats now to strengthen the legs and the buttocks. So bringing the thighs parallel to the floor. Squeeze the buttocks on the way up. And repeat. So your sumo squat may look completely different to mine. It just depends on each individual's bone structure and the position of the femur in the hip socket. Your legs may be slightly closer together, your toes may be pointing more inwards. You'll still get all the benefits. Let's take one more. Very good. Bring the hands to the heart center for a Jala Mudra. And extend. Inhale and exhale. We come into a squat. Place the elbows on the inside edges of the knees to create a bit of resistance. And bring the thumbs to the heart center. Try to lift the breastbone up. Make sure the shoulders are not anywhere near the ears. If your heels are lifted off the mat, you can roll up a little mat and put it underneath the heels or a towel. And we're going to inhale back to standing. We're going to repeat that. Malasana stretches the ankles and the groin. It helps to release the hip joints, strengthens the legs, lengthens the spine and the neck. So I'll just turn sideways for this one. Hands come to the heart center. Inhale. And exhale into a squat. Use the elbows to resist the knees. And open up through the heart center. If you want something to play with when the video's over, you can practice your crew. So bringing the hands to the mat. Hinge yourself forward and big toes touch. Bring the feet back to the mat. Hands back to Anjali Mudra and inhale. Press into the soles of the feet to stand. Heel toe the feet in. And sit ourselves back onto the mat. We're going to take Arda Matsyandrasana next, or seated spinal twist. So straighten, lengthen through the back. Interlace the fingers, place them around the shin as you draw the right leg in. Just use that leverage to lengthen up through the spine. Take the sole of the right foot to the outside edge of the left leg. Press into the heel of the left foot. Press into the sole of the right foot. And then bring the right arm, sorry, the left arm. Extend the fingers towards the ceiling. Reach the right arm back. And bring the elbow to the outside edge of the left leg. The right leg, I'm getting really mixed up today. <laughs> Inhale to lengthen. And exhale to rotate. Look over the right shoulder. Twisting helps to restore the spine's natural range of motion. It cleanses the organs. If you want added resistance, you can take the arm down and along the thigh. So inhaling to lengthen and exhaling to rotate and twist. And release it back to center. This time, draw the left leg in. Place the sole on the outside edge of the right leg. Press into the sole 
of the left foot and the heel of the right foot. Cut the hands around the shin and lengthen the spine. And then we're going to rotate, lift the fingers up towards the ceiling. Place the elbow on the outside edge of the left leg and reach around behind to twist and rotate. Inhale to lengthen, exhale to rotate back and look over the left shoulder. Bring the right hand down and along the thigh if you want a deeper twist. And release it back. We're going to finish in Savasana. But we're going to get there by activating the core today. So coming down, hands out in front at shoulder level and slowly lower ourselves down. Strengthening the abs. Allow the hands to come to the sides of the body. Palms face up. Fingers curling towards their respective palms. The feet can be hip width apart and falling out to the side. Just breathe and relax. Thank you very much for joining me today. Let's bring our hands to the forehead. May you have peace in your thoughts, thumbs come to the lips, peace in your words, and thumbs come to the heart centre, and peace in your heart. Namaste.